Ladies and gentlemen, I have finally uncovered the secret story to Fortnite. So if you guys could go down and take two seconds to hit that like button, that would mean so much to me. And remember, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with Fortnite. So guys, without any further ado, let's just jump right into the video. So after weeks of like looking at all the loading screens and just trying to piece things together, I finally figured out the backstory to Fortnite. And it's going to blow your guys' mind because even though I figured it out, it even blew my own mind. So guys, to start, we witnessed the monster versus mecha event about two weeks ago in fortnite and basically the monster has no part in the fortnite storyline but here's the crazy thing the mecha does so we've been watching it as it was being created limbs were added on every other day and nothing really changed besides it getting bigger until the last day when it actually got painted and if you guys take a look at the mecha it is made up of five different skins so it is made up of the cuddle team leader as the head and the chest area the right arm is the rex skin and then the left arm is actually a drift skin the right leg is the tomato and the left leg is the burger so what the heck are these and why are these the chosen skins to put on the mecha so you guys will not believe this Fortnite Season 9 is exactly like Fortnite Season 5. So if you guys take a look at this loading screen right here from the Water Balloon LTM this season, you can see there's the Drift skin, which is the summer version, and this is the only Battle Pass skin that has ever returned to the item shop in Fortnite. And no, it's not because Fortnite just wanted people to see the Drift again, it is because it is a huge connection between Season 9 and Season 5. So if you look in the right hand corner of this loading screen, you can see an Easter Island rock head and this was only an appearance in Fortnite season 5 and it is no longer on the map so that's one of the connections on this loading screen and also the second one you can see the beach ball down below this was actually added in the battle pass in Fortnite season 5 and one in Fortnite season 9 was kind of like a futuristic ball which is the exact same thing all right so now moving on what are those five skins on the robot what do they mean and why are they there so take a look at this loading screen from Fortnite Season 5. You can see the Drift skin, you can see the Bright Bomber, you can see the Cuddle Team Leader, you can see the Rex skin, and take a look closely at the golf cart hanging from the mirror is the Durburger and the Tomato. That is right. So those five skins plus the Bright Bomber is a total of six, and those were all on the robot. But here's also another huge question. Who created this robot and why? Well, number one, they created this robot because... They know the monster has escaped and it has taken Polar Peak with it and it's a huge threat to the map so they knew they had to create some sort of device or robot in this case that will take out this monster. So who created it? Well, it's the Singularity skin from the Fortnite Season 9 Secret skin. And how do we know this? We'll take a look at this loading screen right here. You can see the Singularity skin staring right at the robot as it is being created. And it seems to be that the Singularity skin is the mayor of Fortnite Season 9 because take a look in Tilted Towers, there is a huge statue of the Singularity skin. But that's not all about this skin. It has the ability to time travel leading up to Fortnite Season 10 because that could be a possible theme with the return of Dusty Depot and some other OG spots. So going back to the unvaulting event, we were all sucked into the vault and we were able to choose one weapon or item to be unvaulted and everyone went for the drum gun because it was such a good weapon. But if you take a closer look at the desk down in the vault, you can see the Singularity skin's mask from Season 9. So that is just crazy. So there you go. This skin has the ability to time travel. So the Singularity skin basically brought these five skins together into the robot. And here's another big question. Who controlled the robot? Who was the pilot? And if you guys take a look at all the loading screens in Season 5, almost every single one had the Bright Bomber skin. So she is the true pilot of the robot. Alright guys, so now moving on. There is a huge orb in Loot Lake currently. Where is this from? Why is it here? And what is it doing? So basically, during the Robot vs. Monster event, it punched the vault, grabbing the orb out with its left arm giving it power to punch the robot, and during the battle, the robot sacrificed its left arm, which is actually the Drift's arm, and it removed it, which is showing separation from the Drift skin because he was rifted into the game later on. So the four original skins were the Rex, the Cuddle Team Leader, the Burger, and the Tomato. Alright guys, take a look at this loading screen right here. This is from Fortnite Season 9, and this skin looks so different than every other skin in the game, and that is because it is evil. This is the evil skin in Fortnite 
basically what it's trying to do is it's trying to take the orb and guys listen it already has taken the orb but it failed it tried but it failed but it is going to do it again so this skin basically wants the orb so it has the ability to time travel and destroy the fortnite map and he is not alone so take a look at this loading screen here this is the almond skin and take a look at the other loading screen this is the fate skin so these three characters are working together to try and steal this orb and as you can see by all three of these pictures they look all very evil and going back to this loading screen here if you guys take a look underneath the almond skins hands that is right that is the orb that is in loot lake currently and fortnite's form of time travel is the storm that is why everything is purple and taking a look back at this loading screen right here it is he is surrounded by the storm but guys what's the deal with time travel like what are they trying to do they actually brought these three skins into fortnite season four and why fortnite season four well because the almond and fate skin look like superheroes and that was the theme of fortnite season four and the fate and almond skin actually arrived late to fortnite season four and they were fired by their master so this is where the visitor skin comes in he actually launched the rocket in season four and since these two skins the fate and almond were late they could not stop this but the fate and almond skin did not give up they actually did return in fortnite season five as it launched you guys can see on screen right here these two skins were added at the same time it's the mo moniker skin and the fortune skin and guys you will not believe this these are the exact same skins as the fate and almond but just they look like normal people because they would not fit in in Fortnite Season 5. So taking a look back at some of the Fortnite Season 5 loading screens, you can see here the Drift skin, the Bright Bomber, the Rex skin, and the Cuddle Team Leader are all on the golf carts having fun. But take a look in the background. Who hit that golf ball? That is right. That is the Moniker skin or the Almond skin. So he is trying to get close to the these four skins to try and take them out. And take a look at this other loading screen here at the pool. You can see... The Drift skin, the Cuddle Team Leader, the Rex skin, all these same skins in this loading screen, including the Bright Bomber. But take a look at the back, at the bar. That is the Fortune skin. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. So she is also trying to get close to these four skins to try and take them out as well. All right, guys, so I'm sure that was so darn confusing to you guys. So let me just do a quick recap on everything I just went over. So in Fortnite Season 4, the Fate and Almond skin were trying to stop the visitor skin from launching the rocket and they arrived late so they failed and the visitor skin did launch the rocket but they did not stop so in fortnite season 5 they returned as the moniker and fortune skin they were undercover and they are trying to get close to the drift the bright bomber the rex and the cuddle team leader to try and stop them so the moniker and fortune skin watched over these four other skins all of season 5 nothing really happened but came season 6 kevin the cube appeared and that was from the tempest skin and which is the master of the fate and almond so he brought the cube onto the fortnite island to try and make the drift the cuddle team leader the rex and the bright bomber evil as you can see in this loading screen here the bright bomber is touching the cube and you can see the dark bomber's reflection making her evil but the tempest skin did fail because Clearly, the Bright Bomber did operate the robot and take out the monster. So the Temptus skin led the cube all the way to Loot Lake because it knew that's where the orb was. So once the cube sunk into Loot Lake, it melted and covered the entire lake. So the cube reappeared and pushed the island out of the ground, creating this waterfall. And that is where the vault is. So just recently in Fortnite Season 9, this orb has finally appeared. And now the Temptus skin, the Fate, and the Almond skin are now trying to take action. And when the monster did escape, the Singularity skin started working on this big robot, which included, like I said, the Drift skin, the Cuddle Team leader, the Rex skin, the Burger, and the Tomato. So after battling it out, the monster did lose its left arm, which is actually the part of the Drift, showing that the Drift was late to all of this when he was rifted in in Fortnite Season 5. And when the robot did grab the sword out, of tilted that was a singularity statue and she had access to the storm underneath as you can see when he pulled the sword out it glowed purple at the top which was the storm so now there's just a couple days left in fortnite season 9 leading into fortnite season 10 and we got the teasers of dusty depot and today's teaser is actually crazy guys it shows the ragnarok skin and the drift skin from fortnite season 5 connecting all of these theories together and creating the whole storyline of fortnite so what are we looking at for Fortnite Season 10? Well, the Singularity skin is actually going to make everyone on the Fortnite Island time travel back 
to the old days of Fortnite to try and stop the Tempest skin, the Fate skin, and the Almond skin. So guys, that is so crazy. So basically, the entire map is doing the exact same thing that the Tempest and the Almond and the Fate skin did to try and steal this orb. So yeah guys, that is finally going to do it for this video. I know this video is so much longer than usual. It's very confusing, but if you guys have any questions for me, leave it down in the comments or any other theories that you think I miss. So thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, hit that like button. I spent a lot of time on this video, so it'll really help me out. And remember guys, please subscribe for Fortnite videos just like this one. So guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.